All right, this is the screencast for Aeneid Book 6 on 325 through 332 uh, from Calliope and Quintus. Um, in this passage, Aeneas has just gotten down to the underworld with the Sibyl, and um, the Sibyl's talking and like explaining to him what he's seeing. So we're going to start out with this phrase here, um, this, omnis, whole, and then um, turba, down here, crowd, um, quam, as, uh, kernis, you separate, s, um, is, inops, weak, um, and, que, unburied, in humata. And then we have, um, ille, and then portitor, which is talking about, uh, the chair, uh, like the, uh, ferryman, um, is, uh, Sharon, Charon, however you choose to say it. So that ferryman is um, Charon. And then we have he, those, uh, quos, whom, uh, the wave carries, um, have been buried. Sepulti. All right, so um, we got uh, nor is it um, like being allowed uh, to transport um, like from the horrendous shores and uh, sounding river. Um, Prius quam just means before. Uh, so before uh, their bones um, like rest in um, like in their seats. So this basically just going with the thing from before means so like you can't cross into the underworld until you've been buried. So that's why all these people are waiting around. So here we're going to start out with Iran. Um, they wander um, for a hundred years and fly, que, uh, volatant, que, uh, they fly, circum, around these shores. Then, uh, tomb, demum, at last, having been urged, uh, they revisit the, uh, pool, having been longed for. So the hike litor kirkum right here is a little bit of an astrophe, the word order catastrophe. Um, it should be kirkum hike litora. Um, so Ankisa Satos is like son from Anchises. That means like the same thing as like son of Anchises. Um, uh, stopped and pressed um, his steps, uh, thinking much and pitying the unfair fate in his mind. So that's the screencast. Thanks for watching. Bye.